Hi, so we are continuing to factorise quadratics today and today we're going to move on. We're actually going to do like two examples and two exercises but we're going to do one example, one exercise, one example, one exercise. So page 95 in your notes is where these examples have come from and if you remember there's not enough room here to do your working out properly so get yourself another bit of paper to write these examples on and then slot them into your folder okay so here's my example three now the thing that makes today's work slightly different from last day's is that we now are going to start having negatives in our quadratics and we just need to make sure we're super careful with that um it's so easy to make a silly mistake but i'm always saying that so first thing to do if you remember is to write out what the a b and c values are so a is always the number in front of the x squared term so there's nothing here that's the same as a one b is the number in front of the x so minus 11 and c is the number by itself so that's 28. once we've done that we write out what a c gives us so that's the product of a and c so that's 1 multiplied by 28 and that gets us 28 so that's a and c used we need to also make sure we're using the b value and the way that we do that is we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us this a c value so they're multiplying to give us in this case 28 and then they have to add together to give the b value which in this case is minus 11 okay now Let's start going through the factors of 28. So 1 multiplied by 28, if I add those together, I get 29. That is not minus 11. Let's see 2 and 14. If I add those together, I get 16. Again, not minus 11. 3, 4 multiplied by 7. If I add those together, I get 11. Ooh. Now, two positives multiply together to give a positive, but two negatives also multiply together to give a positive, and the two negatives will add together to give us that minus 11. So if instead of 4 multiplied by 7, I had done minus 4 multiplied by minus 7, that still multiplies to give me 28. But if I add minus 4 to minus 7, I get minus 11. So these are the numbers that we're going to be using this time. Okay, so here's my numbers. Now, if you remember, the next thing we do then is write out the equation again. So x squared minus 11x plus 28. And we take this 11x term and we use these two numbers to split it up. So we change minus 11x into minus 4x minus 7x. So x squared minus 4x minus 7x plus 28. Because this still has the same value as that. Then take the first two terms, okay, factorize them. So look and see what can I bring outside of the bracket here what is common to both of these terms and it is x and x multiplied by x gives me that x squared x multiplied by minus 4 is going to give me that minus 4x now for these two it is super important that we remember about this wee guy here see this wee negative if you don't think about it properly you'll likely mess up something here okay so be super careful now remember whenever we're doing this sort of second step of factorizing that we're looking to see what is common to both of these terms to bring out okay but we want the thing in that's left in the bracket to be the same as this one here so i'm going to just automatically write that in i want it to be x minus four so really what I do then is look at this first term and I think, right, what will this have to be multiplied by to give me this, the equivalent term up here? 
So what does x have to be multiplied by to give me minus 7x? Well, it's minus 7. And then check it. Minus 7 multiplied by minus 4. Yes, that gives me plus 28. So you do need to be super careful with these negatives, okay? Now, now we've got like two big terms, if you remember that. We've got this and this. So we can factorise again. And the it's always going to be the same way. The, the thing that is common to both is the bit that's in the brackets because we went out of our way to make that be the case. So x minus 4 is the common term that we can factorise out. And then we're left with x minus 7. So x minus 7, x minus 4. And that's our answer. Okay. So once you've got this written down, then um, I'm going to list questions for you to do. Then I'll do a separate video with example four and then more questions after that. So I'll probably link to the um, example four video here just to make your life easy. Okay. See you in 20 minutes. Don't know how long.